gentlemen. California's famous highway number one winds its way north along the Pacific coast, sometimes only a few feet from the surf. Sometimes it veers inland, often follows the very edge of high cliffs with the sea thundering down far below. That's the way it is at Jade Beach. Families picnic on top of the cliff, and rock hounds and adventurous young people creep down a steep and dangerous path to hunt for bits of jade the bits of jade that give this particular beach its name. Our story begins one day when two young and agile men, William Gordon, age 25, and Jimmy Cross, 19, adventured down this dangerous trail on the cliff's face. There's a path along here somewhere. mine just fell over the cliff at Jade Beach. We gotta get him out of there or he'll die. Oh, I knew this would happen someday. I always knew it. You gotta do something. You gotta help. I'll call the highway patrol. You better sit down and rest a minute, boy. You hurt yourself. I'm going back. Figure out something. Don't go alone. Wait a minute. I'll get help. A guy just fell over the cliff down at Jade Beach. The boss has already called the highway patrol, but it's going to take a long time to get someone down from Monterey or San Luis Obispo. I thought m maybe you guys. What are we waiting for? I'll get Bob. Better get all the blankets we can. I'll meet you down there. Wages, you come with me in the pickup. The rest of you follow up in the line truck. We need all the equipment we can get. Truck. Cut those wires so we can get through. All right, son, come on, get in here. Of 
hours, those rocks will be covered with water. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I know it. We'll get him up. We'll lower a line and get him out of there. Come here and rest. Bob, one of us has to go over. Who's it gonna be? Who says it can't be me? What do you think, you're a kid? It's settled. I'm going. All right, Dean, it is. Come on, let's go. I can see him, but I can't get to him from here. I'm coming up. He's down the beach away. We'll have to move the truck, boys. There's a path around here somewhere. I know there is. Stop. It'll be tough going. Yeah. Down here, about three feet apart, and look out for loose rocks. Let me go first, Bob. Oh, you follow me. I'm going with you. Oh, you're not. You can't stop me. Look, we got enough trouble, kids. Get out of my way. Don't make it any tougher than it is, kid. All right, boys, let's go. <laughs> He went out underneath. Jimmy. 
Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. You save his strength. How did he ever manage to get his belt off and make a turn? I don't know. It's a good thing he did. Cigarette? <laughs> you want you wanna hear a joke? Sure, why not? I I went all through Korea. Without a scratch. Don't you worry, son. You go through this thing too, all right. Got a broken leg for sure. Looks like a bad concussion. It's the internal bleeding that worries me. He's breathing off the yard. He needs oxygen. Can't move him. I'd be afraid to without a litter basket. How about making a stretcher? No, no, too unsteady. Bleed to death before we got to the top. So for a half an hour since we left the lodge. That highway patrol ought to be here with the ambulance by now. Whether it's coming from Monterey or San Luis Obispo, it's still 60 miles. We'll just have to wait. How long before high tide? An hour, maybe two. I can't be sure. One thing I'm sure of, can't wait that long. gonna do now? Get in touch with the highway patrol. I'll go up and get on the line. Yeah. Easy's gonna do it, fella. Your buddy will be all right. Hello. I'm Wages, Dave Wages, a lineman from Lamont Ray office. Get me the highway patrol, fast. Wages, keep that line open. Bring it down with you. Right, I've got it. Now you stop worrying, kid. The highway patrol will take care of everything. I hope so. I sure hope so. What's the story? They've gotten everyone on it. Sheriff, private ambulance, the works. They'll never get here in time. Sure they will. I know they can. They can. I just know it. We only had a litter basket to bring him up in. Operator. Get him, Dave. Don't let him go down there himself. Let me go. I'm not going to let him die. Neither are we. I promise you that. They're on the way with the litter basket. They'll never get here in time. They'll never get here in time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blow my stack. I know you're doing everything you can. It's just that Bill is the best friend I've got in the Navy. Navy? I just joined. Why didn't you tell us you were Navy? Well, I, I didn't think. Operator, get me the naval base of Monterey. the ambulance? Well, it left Monterey right after I did. It should be here any minute. How's the boy? Not good. You better go down and take a look yourself. Operations, please. 
Lieutenant Stone again. Thompson's on the way over. Go ahead and get the copter out on the line. According to the report, fog is beginning to set in at Jade Beach. Visibility will be comparatively low within the hour. Your wind velocity is 20 to 25 miles per hour. Good luck. Right. Give him a hand, Lasker. Bring him in here. Come on. Where you go? Slice down through the soup. Well, here goes. Trying to pick that 
sailor up from here. What are you going to do? Keep flying until we find a way. Is he ever going to hold on all the way back to Monterey? I don't know, son. I don't know. there could be no adequate reward for what those men did. But they were rewarded, and after this announcement, I'll tell you about it. Years ago, the president of the American Telephone and Telegraph Company was Theodore N. Vail. He believed that responsibility to the public is one of the basic principles of the Bell system. It's in his name that this Vail Award was created. This is conferred upon employees of the telephone companies for courageous and noteworthy acts of public service, whether on or off the job. For saving William Gordon, this Silver Vale Medal was awarded to John O. Mason, Jacob H. Bowen, Hall D. Lassiter, David D. Wages, and Joseph S. Oliveira. Ladies and gentlemen, seated here beside me is the real bosun's mate second class, William C. Gordon. Bill, it's nice to have you aboard. We're glad to have you here, believe me. Well, thank you, Doctor. It's great to be alive. I'm grateful to Jimmy Cross and the telephone men, the deputy sheriff, men in the helicopter, all the people in the Army and Navy who helped me get back on active duty. Certainly a good many people cooperated in that venture, didn't they? Uh, Bill, there's one thing I'd like to ask you. Did you ever go back to Jade Beach? Yes. One time on crutches and several times on foot. <laughs> well, Bill, we're certainly delighted to have you with us. Thank you for letting us tell your story. 